Commandment of Lotto Odds and Match Three Colors. It is May 10th, 2024. Okay, this um, this video is specifically in response to a member here pertaining to his play with a PS9. Okay, pair some nine. So he's playing within the green zone. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over basically what he's doing and try to help him enhance his play with this. And it can help you enhance your play. In the future, I'll make more practice videos how you can incorporate the draw count feature to be able to catch um, next winners with the pair sums okay first of all he's saying basically he's playing for a pair sum nine he's waiting for a pair sum nine to hit and then he's playing three draws after that okay to catch another pair sum okay and that is very smart okay but there's a way how to improve your play because not only do you wait for the pair sum for example in this example pair sum nine could be any pair sum but anyway pair sum nine here okay not only do you wait for the first one to hit okay but you also need to watch to see if there's going to be another green for for another ps9 to hit because this isn't ps9 there must the draw count must show a green for the next draw or within three draws in actuality it's actually four draws from the first time this is hit will be four draws not three because it takes four draws to get out of the green zone okay green zone involves four draws I'm gonna show show you that right now um, all right so here I, I went through I utilized the um, feature here on the site right there from auto predict I just click history and I went through the what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for the states that have the red the draw count all in red because you're looking for something to cut to, to signal you that a green is gonna hit so I, I chose California because that's the first one I, I saw um, but let's go through this and see if there's anyone oh look at that one yeah Connecticut Connecticut was the one I should have used that one uh, but let me you know what let, let me use Connecticut let me use Connecticut and then I'll use California real quick but anyway uh, Connecticut here look this is awesome this is awesome because it's such a high probability that green is gonna hit next draw okay or within look you have 912 is still in the green. See, the border here indicates that it's still in green zone. 912 is in the green zone, but it has only one more draw till it falls into the brown zone. Now, when it falls into the brown zone, okay, it cannot hit green again until it hits brown. Okay, so it would have to hit brown and then green again. Okay, and the brown zone has five draws. So let's make this simple for you. What you're looking for is you're looking for here. The draw count has to be multiple red or browns. That indicates a green is going to hit. When it indicates a green is going to hit, it says here, it says one of these pair sums in the green zone, that's what's indicating, in the green zone is going to win. Okay, like here, see 912, 912, and it hit here. But look at it, it's, it's red. Why? Because 912 was already in the red way back here somewhere. Nine, what was it? 921, 921, let's see. 921, 921. See, right there, red, right there, okay? So it wound up hitting again. All right, just make sure, yeah. <coughs> so that's why this is in the red. So you're waiting for a green to come out, so one of these fours will hit again, okay? So when he's playing with the nine pair, okay, for example, 921 or 912 could wind up hitting again. If this comes out green, right, green, in fact, 10-1-1 and 11-3-1 is also in the green zone, okay? So this is what you want to look for. You want to look for a lot of multiple red and brown hits like this. Now, to help you determine what may hit next from this four right here, you need to isolate each one of them and look at the also draw counts to see if there's multiple multiple um, reds, and, uh, reds and browns that indicates that it has a possibility of hitting next. For example, I know here that 10-1-1 is the one that has the most because I did the research previously. So if I isolate 10-1-1, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you want to see. On L1 default page, you want to see all red and brown, ready to hit green. Then you want to also see, if you isolate the 10, you know, out of the four, you want to see which one has the most red and brown. Look at that. 
10 one, one is hot to hit green again. It is hot. And I'm telling you, look, it has one more chance here. Actually, how many chances did it have there? Let me go, I'll go back there. Anyway, it depends how many draws it has to get out of the green, okay, to hit. So let's, let's go back here. So you see this now, right? Okay, so it's hot to hit green, and it must hit green soon. If it doesn't hit green, then it'll be stuck in brown. Then it has to hit another brown before it hits a green. So let's see. Let's go back there, see how many draws it was. All right, two. One, two, it's in brown. It has two chances to get out of the uh, red and green, and in, excuse me, red and brown into the green. Two chances, okay? So look for that, okay? But then also look at this. You have two, I'm, I'm gonna just throw this in. You have two, you have two, one, 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 three, one. You have three uh, one digits, right one digits, right? So it creates a high probability that a two or a three would hit on the right, which gives a, a higher chance for this, nine, one, two, to probably hit next. For these to have to, one of these three have to uh, hit, a uh, one has to show up here as well. Not only the green, but a one, okay? And this is creating a high, higher probability that it could be 912, all right? Let me do one more for you. It may be confusing for you, but believe me, this is so simple. And it's going to help his play and your play if you're going to play this way, okay? Let's go to California here. You got a lot of reds here. There is a possibility that a green could come out. If you look down draw count, you see, look, there's a lot of green green and red, excuse me, brown and red here. You see how many times it tends to hit the most with brown and red before it flips. And this will give up the the, uh, the algorithms that the lotto um, agencies use or the lotto machines. It, it'll show you, if they're using the same machines or algorithms, it will show you what they tend to hit, okay? how many they tend to hit and keep in mind every two days if they're using lotto machines they'll change the lotto balls okay and the algorithms I don't know how long they change those but they tend to keep them longer I believe before they change them so it'll always wind up keep having the same kind of trend going for a while until I change it okay so look for that in the past so here right here looks like it could be ready to hit a green if it hits a green it could be one of these Okay, and look, you have 912, 912, okay, which is in the green. And actually, I told him it has one more draw. It actually has one, two, three more draws till it pops into the, um, into the brown. So, yeah, this is a good play for him, for California. Three more draws because, look, if I isolate, right, 912, look at this. You see all the greens here? Watch, isolate 912. You're looking, excuse me, all the reds. You're looking for red and brown like that, right, with 912 to indicate for you, okay, that it's ready also to flip to green. All right, so look, I'm isolating that. Isolating, isolating. All right, take all that. There you go, there you go. All right, now look, you also have here multiple red with the brown with the L12, which could indicate that a green is also going to hit, right? It gives you a clue that 912 could hit, okay, could hit. Now, within three draws, because if it doesn't, if 912 doesn't hit next, right, and it's still in green zone, if it doesn't hit next, you're going to have a brown or a red here, right? A brown or a red here. Then you're going to have, if it doesn't hit again, you're going to have a brown or red there. And then you have one more last draw. And then it should, if it doesn't hit green there, it's going to drop into the brown zone. Okay, so you have three, three chances for hit, it to hit green. So his three draws are good here in this case. Okay, and if you look at the back here, you don't see many uh, red and browns until a green hits. You see a lot of green hitting. So this is a good play right here. Waiting for another uh, 912 to hit the green, which could hit within three draws. Okay, I hope that helps. I'll make more practice videos in the future. Thank you.